Hello there, I'm Steve Foxen, and this is one of my favourite CLI films. It's called Riding on Air and was released in 1959. Many of you will know I love a good transport documentary, but this one is not of the usual trains, planes, or motor cars variety. This one is dedicated to the humble bicycle. Riding on Air was produced in 1959 for the Foreign and Colonial Office at a time when one-fifth of the population cycled. It showcases the forerunners of the modern bicycle and the very latest models. Our story starts with a man in a hurry. And he ran and he ran and he ran till he ran himself out of breath. The problem was a real one. And then he made a discovery, the bicycle. Here at last was the solution to his problem, a simple, practical, efficient, always available form of transport. This charming assessment of Britain's bicycle industry illustrates the popularity of cycling both as transport for business or for pleasure and for sport in the 1950s. It's clearly a product of the post-war documentary field. It's technically excellent, Beautifully scripted, well shot, and edited. It's of an era where 35mm production was standard, where specially composed scores were commonplace, and where a documentary could hold its own in a theatrical programme. The bicycle becomes an essential companion. It can be a supersonic spaceship. Or the faithful old steed. Sometimes gay and light-hearted and sometimes solemn and determined, capable of bearing the full weight of the law. It's so well polished, it's playful, and that for me is part of the charm of 1950s sponsored documentary. There are classic brands of the past seen in production at the factories of Raleigh in Nottingham and BSA in Coventry. It's hard to imagine the scale of global export at this time, but the 1950s were the boom decade for bicycle export to the Commonwealth. There's a great potted history of the development of the bicycle. From bone shakers to penny farthings, there is much to delight and amuse. The age of pomp and circumstance was in full bloom when the penny farthing first took the road, as dignified and deliberate as Queen Victoria's Albert Memorial. Finally, our story comes full circle when our joyful everyman protagonist realises that he too has become a convert and a cyclist, ready to go anywhere, riding high, riding free, riding on air. Go on, give the film a click, it's got my vote. Once upon a time, there was a man in a hurry. He really had to move, so he ran and he ran and he ran. 